again to Old School with you. Uh, welcome to my channel, the channel for RC enthusiasts, racers, bashers, and gamers. Uh, yeah, I had a question asked of me, why are you filming this in your garage? Well, this is where I do all my work. And I thought it'd be great if you just come in and visit with me and let's talk some RC. But first, what I want to do is I want to introduce you to a friend of mine who uh, came over here to help me out. His name is Sir Reginald Charles de Monquet. And also, RC did me a favor this week. He said he's going to take care of the, uh, the video for me so I can take me a break. So take it away, RC. Well, I guess he's got stage fright, so I'll go ahead and do it. What we're going to talk about today on this video, we're going to talk about the radio transmitter, the receiver, and the electronic speed controller. Now, I decided to use a different car because in this car, the, uh, it's laid out a lot differently. It's uh, a lot more wide open. So pull up a chair, get you something cold to drink, and let's talk radio control cars. The first thing I wanna talk about is the transmitter and the receiver. You can buy them together in a package that comes with both, or you can purchase them separately if you want. The deal is with the transmitter. The transmitter sends the signal to the receiver to tell it what to do. The two basic functions, most of them are two channel, is the steering. The steering controls how far left, how far right, and how fast all with the input from this wheel. The throttle is from the trigger right here, and that determines how fast the motor's gonna turn. The, the further you pull the trigger, the faster the car will go. If you push it the other way, it, that's your brakes. It applies brakes to the car. Depending on how you have your ESC, which stands for what? That's right, electronic speed control. You can set it up for either how reverse or braking. On the racing platform, all we can use is brake. We are not allowed to use reverse on the track. Now, in order to get the transmitter to work with the receiver, we have to do something called binding. And what binding is, it's like a relationship or a marriage. No, not like that one. And what it is, is during the binding process, and it will be in your, in your instructions for your book, or in your book for the radio, we are telling the transmitter receiver that the only information you can take, the receiver, the only information you can take is what this particular transmitter is transmitting to you. No one else. That's why when we're at the track and we have 10 or so guys racing, or we're in the, at the flying field and we have two or three guys in the air, we don't interfere with each other. Yes, the receiver hears what they're saying, but since we have already married them together, then the only one that it will take commands from is the transmitter that you bind it with. When the receiver receives the information from the transmitter, then it, it, what it does is it controls our steering servo and we went over that in our introduction. And it also controls the electronic speed controller or the ESC and tells it how fast to go, as we've seen the wheels turned earlier, how fast to go, whether you're in brake mode, whether you're steering left, steering right. That's the receiver's job is to divvy the information from the transmitter to its perspective components. These two, now you'll see my battery here is already in the car. It is hooked up to the electronic speed controller. The electronic speed controller has an on off switch. This is the on off switch. When you turn it on, it powers up the receiver so the receiver can start doing what it's supposed to do. So that's how the receiver and the transmitter work together. Now, 
once the receiver sends the information to the electronic speed controller on what to do. Think of the electronic speed controller as a gate. What it does, its job is to trans not only to, to power up the receiver like we talked about, but to transfer the power from the battery over to the motor. That's his job. How much? Depends on what the receiver tells it to do. You'll notice that we have nice thick multi-stranded wires. We're gonna get into that when we get into the motor series. Nice and clean solder joints. So the ESC is like a gate. Depending on how much power it gives to the motor is what, is what the receiver tells it to do. Anything you want to add to it uh, there, RC? What's that? Oh, he said, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on the video. It really helps out a small channel. And he also says he's a little short on bananas this week. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Don't forget, support your local hobby store. Be there for them today so they'll be there for us tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll see you at the track. Take care. Old school out.